hello guys welcome to my channel thank you so much in fact i'm so grateful to god for the life of you and i yet you guys are my family if you are new here i know you're going to love my channel please subscribe to my channel today i'm going to be teaching you how i prepare my chicken like soup so stay tuned and enjoy okay guys so for this food i'm going to be using chicken wings okay just chicken wings it's my favorite part of chicken <laughs> and i have some tomatoes here onions carrots the last time i prepared um soup with carrots i posted it on my state on my whatsapp status and a lot of people were wondering how i did it so so i'm going to be showing you guys how i do it you can also use popo on ripe purple if you have it in place of garden eggs okay and i have my pepper my anise ginger and garlic and also i have um tomato puree some of you may be wondering why i have salted fish that's cool be there yeah i just love it in my so just to give it a different flavor and i also have what we call the iron fruits okay in ghana in tree we call it prekese but scientifically some people call it i don't want to bite my tag right now okay they call it tetra pleura tetra pleura, okay so yeah basically that's it and i have salt to taste yeah so let's get started okay mind you everything has been washed okay yeah but um i want to draw your attention to something most of the times when people are washing their chicken they do not take time to wash it very well, okay? Especially when you are washing chicken wings. I think aside the gizzard, the part of the chicken that, like when you're washing it, it's difficult is the chicken wings, okay? Especially the armpit, I don't know whether to call it the armpit of the chicken or what. There's actually dead there. So when you are washing it and you do not take your time to wash it well, like that place will still be there. You have to cut off the tip of the chicken when you are washing it okay some people just wash it like that they forget to scrape that armpit area that's me trying to be professional with the cotton of the onions but as you can see it was a fail <laughs> anyways it happens like it's normal i was just trying to be like a pro but then it didn't happen anyways i'm going to cut these onions into smaller pieces and then pour it on my meat and boil so the blended spice will go in next then I'm going to add my favorite spice. It's a chicken spice here in Ukraine. Actually, that's one of my favorites. Okay, so that's what I use most of the time. And I didn't add salt to this because um, the spice has already contained some salt. And besides, I'm going to be using salted fish. Okay, and it's very salty. So I don't want my soup to be salty. After cooking, I'll taste it if the salt is not okay then i'll add more salt okay yeah it's better to be safe our chicken is on fire now as you can see i didn't add a lot of water at the beginning this is because after blending all my tomatoes and all that i'm going to rinse the blender with some water and then pour it on it so at the beginning you don't want to use a lot of water okay because you don't want your soup so watery normally i boil the carrots my tomatoes and onions to get after the meat is cooked like i put them on the meat to get cooked but this time around i'm cooking the carrots separately this is because the carrots is harder than the tomatoes and the onions and then it takes a longer time to cook okay so we all know that like coastal chicken they are very very soft okay so i don't want my meat to be split okay i want them whole that's why i'm cooking the carrots separately guys you don't need to add a lot of tomato puree to your soup okay it's going to make it so if you add a lot that's why we have the fresh tomatoes okay guys let me know in the comment section i want to know like is it only me that i feel like no matter how well you cook here in ukraine it doesn't really taste as good as 
home like the one you eat from home like chicken soup bar when you're cooking chicken soup like you could after washing your hand you could still smell the the chicken on your hand but here you'll be eating chicken soup but then it'll be like you're just eating the normal soup nothing that's why like basically i'm adding precursor and the salted fish to the soup because i don't taste chicken so i'll rather put other things to just feel good that i'm eating home food like am i the only person who feels this way it's not just about soup but then any kind of food at all like it just doesn't taste as good as the one you eat from home let me know whether you also think the same feel me right i just think the ingredients here like the vegetables here they are not organic everything is just processed so you do not get the authentic taste from these ingredients it's it's really sad <laughs> You feel me guys, you feel me right? Let me know in the comment section whether I'm the odd one here. Cause that's how I feel. Nigerians, these, this is our pepper soup. We call it light soup, but then we don't have pepper soup like Nigerians. So I don't know, this is how we cook ours. Maybe one day I'll just learn how to cook the Nigerian pepper soup and then cook it on my channel because it looks so good when they are eating it i've never tasted it before and guys if you're a nigerian and you're watching me please prepare pepper soup and let me come and eat some okay <laughs> i'm going to cover it and then check on my carrots it's ready now so i'm going to blend it as you can see guys i didn't use normal water i used the water that i used in boiling the carrot to blend it okay because it has all the nutrients in there. You don't have to throw the water away. Use that same water to blend it. You want everything, okay? You want all the nutrients to be in your soup. You don't want to lose anything. <laughs> so it's done. I'm going to pour my blended carrots in the soup. Look at how colorful it is. <laughs> we all know the benefits of carrots, right? You can Google it. I don't have to tell you. <laughs> So guys, it's time to blend our tomatoes, onions, and pepper. Okay, what actually motivated me to do this soup is that I'm tired of eating rice and stew. So I just wanted to have a twist somewhere, yeah. So I want to eat rice and soup today, this afternoon, yeah. And like, basically, I'm just tired of everything rice. I'm just tired. I want to eat swallow or something. This quarantine season, there. I've been eating rice for like, since this quarantine started and I'm just tired of it, okay? So I just wanted to have something different, basically. So you can also try it at home, okay? Finally, we are getting there. It is time to pour my blended tomatoes, pepper, and onions in my soup. Yet, at this point, feel free to add any amount of water you want to add, okay? But don't over add because <laughs> you don't want it so, so, so watery and you don't want to lose the taste, okay? Just moderate, okay? When you're done, you just cover it. This is my favorite part of the cookie. Like after everything, you just cover it halfway and you see it like boiling up. It's so beautiful, guys. At this point, you're just going to leave the soup on fire to cook some more, okay? You lower the heat and then you leave it to cook some more. Then you taste 
if the salt isn't enough you can feel free to add salt to your taste basically and then you leave it to boil on its own on a low heat that's all soup is ready guys it's very very simple you can try it at home if you are tired of eating stew like me you can try this one it's very simple and tasty trust me yeah, so basically that's it very 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 simple so if you've watched till this place you are the real MVP <laughs> God bless you so much like you guys are doing so amazing I see your comments and all that God bless you for supporting me if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and also share to people so they can also watch this amazing video please if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do so and god will bless you thank you so much you can comment in the comment section below if you have any questions at all and i'll be there to answer it okay yeah until next time stay safe and have a blessed week ahead Bye.